Yeah. Everyone looking forward, please. Good morning, Year 11s. Today's assembly is about the start of the journey, the start of the rest of your lives. In two years' time, all of you will have been finishing your A-levels. In three years' time, you'll be studying across the world, studying at the university of your choice. In five years' time, you'll have started your careers. Many of you will be in this room working for the top institutions across the globe. You will then get married. You then may buy a house. In 10 years' time, your life will be set for you. In 15 years, you'll be 30. And from then on, your path and your life will be set. I'm sorry, Mr. Headmaster. Let me tell you why that approach may fail you. I know people who graduated at 21 and didn't get a job till they were 27. I know people who graduated late at 25 and they found work immediately. I know people who never went to university but found what they love at 18. I know people who found a job straight out of college, making decent money, but hate what they do. I know people who are so sure about what they were going to do at 16 and change their mind at 26. So my point is, everything in life happens according to our time, our clock. Be patient. At age 25, Mark Cuban was a bartender in Dallas. It took till 32 for J.K. Rowling to be published for Harry Potter after being rejected by 12 publishers. Ortega launched Zara when he was 39. Jack Ma started Alibaba when he was 35. Virgin was started by Richard Branson at 34. Getting your degree after 25 is still an achievement. Starting a family after 35 is still possible. And buying a house after 40 is still great. Don't let anyone rush you with their timelines. And this is the most important thing. I want you to be able to create meaningful, purposeful, fulfilling lives for yourselves and learn how to use that to make an impact and a difference in the lives of others. That will be true success.